Well, you're one of the uh, the oddities, if you want, because you're you're one of the professionals who makes a living at theater ah, in Canada. That's true. That's true. The, uh, uh, it's getting better. Mm -hmm. My gosh, when I started in '55 professionally, there was hardly any Canadian theater. Yeah, you were crazy in those days. Oh yes, really. Yeah. People thought I was out of my mind. Mm -hmm. um, yes, but what are you going to do for a living? Exactly. Is what they were saying, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, I can well appreciate their attitude because there seemed to be so little available at mm -hmm. the time. Stratford had just started, mm -hmm. and we, of course the Canadian Theatre owes a great deal to Stratford for mm -hmm. starting things up. Uh, it's worked out very well for me because I think I've had the music as well as the acting abilities. I can also move a little bit. I can't call myself a dancer, but mm -hmm. I can dance a bit. I've been able to work in the different areas and in many different styles. Not everybody is, is that flexible. I've been rather fortunate that way. Mm -hmm. Deliberately tried to develop that, but uh, uh, was also able to, which is kind of nice. That's on stage. What about off stage? I mean, you've got a family life, too. Yeah. You know, this, uh, it's not the ideal uh, profession for a family man, simply because of the relative insecurity of the financial situation. You never know. I still don't know after 16 years. Uh, more than uh, a few months ahead. Mm -hmm. I really don't know what I'm going to make, what's going to happen to me at all. I've developed over the years a uh, feeling of, uh, well, that something will turn up, uh, that whatever happens, I can cope with it. A professional optimism. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And also, of course, now I have a backlog of things that I have done, so I, uh, I feel that uh, the odds are working for me now. Mm -hmm.